Hey love, so it's time for a wig transformation type video. So I've already went ahead and made the wig using hair from West Kiss Hair. I did receive three bundles of their Brazilian Body Wave, 18, 16, 14 inches, and a 12 inch closure. So right here I'm going to be using my BW2 bleaching powder along with a 30 developer cream. This is like a random cream that I picked up at the beauty supply store. It was like really cheap. And I, honestly, I think it works a lot better than some of the expensive brands. Like this stuff works a lot better. Like seriously, it works a lot better better so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in this bowl to the consistency that I want it to be I don't really like it too thick and I don't really like it too runny so it's kind of like in between but more or less I would prefer it to be more runnier than thick because the runnier it is like not super like watery runnier but the, the, the looser the texture is the better it processes and that's just to my um just doing this over time you know what i'm saying just to, for me doing it over time so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to just separate the hair and like i said i already went ahead and made this she looks really cute and i'm taking a fine tooth comb and i'm just combing some of the hair up this is supposed to give it highlights i did see this on like um a video and i thought i would try it out normally when i do highlights i do them totally different so this is something different something new for me and i will be honest and tell you it is a little bit more time consuming i'm just going to go ahead and paint the bleach onto the hair and see how it goes from there some most of the time i don't use aluminum foil because um just after watching like many videos and just speaking with kind of like people in the salons they don't really like to use aluminum foil i haven't used aluminum foil in so long i normally just do it and i allow it to process on its own or i'll do it really quick and i'll put plastic over it so that's how i've been doing my hair or my bleaching techniques for quite a long time now so as I was saying, I'm just going to comb the hair upwards. So what you would want to do is get your fine tooth comb. I was using a rat tail comb and I just combed the hair upwards. So it does look kind of bunched up um, above the bleaching job. And that's just the hair, you know, that I kind of like teased it up. So that way it would get out of the way. And like I said, this is just something that I've seen on the video, on a video. And I really wanted to try something totally different. So, yes. Now as for the hair texture, it's great. It's very silky, as you guys can see. I have not um, washed it prior to this, so I decided just to make it. Normally, I'll make the units, and then I'll wash them right after I've made them. So that's the same process, but this time, I'm just going to add an extra step, which is bleaching the hair. So you do need to work pretty fast because the hair does process pretty fast. Um, and West Kiss Hair does have some good quality hair. This is like the third or fourth time for me doing a video tutorial with them or just collaborating or working with them. And they do have affordable hair. It's cool that they're on Amazon now. So if you have a Prime account, you guys know I always talk about Amazon. You can definitely check them out and get yourself some free shipping. I love Amazon. But they also are on AliExpress and they also have their own website also. So you can check them out all over the place. They have definitely ventured out. So you just want to continue to comb the hair upwards and just place your aluminum foil on it um, after you have finished just applying the bleach. So I'm not going to show you me doing this through the entire unit because it's the same process, the same step by step throughout the entire process of the wig. Let me tell y'all something. It was so time consuming and it took so long, especially because you have to brush the hair upwards or comb the hair upwards. And... Let me tell you, and I'm just being real, I will never ever do this process again because like I said, it's very time consuming and the outcome of the unit is very pretty, but it didn't come out like I was to, you know, to be expected for all of this step-by-step -step and extra steps that I had to do. I could have just did what I normally do and it would have just been exactly the same. Also, when you are teasing the hair up like this and brushing it upwards, it gets the hair tangled so it did take me longer than most time uh, most to brush the hair out I had to use a lot of conditioner on the hair just to brush out the tangles and listen when I say brush out the tangles I don't mean just in that one particular area right here mind you I had to do this on the entire unit so it's very time-consuming it took me a total of about an hour to an hour and a half to do this um, just because of the aluminum foil the teasing it just was very time-consuming so if you are not patient i don't suggest doing this but for the most part the hair did come out super pretty so we're going to continue on and you guys will see all right love so 
after watching me do some of the wig um it got kind of overwhelming to be honest like i don't really use aluminum foil anymore so to be doing all of that just seemed like it was just so tedious and just so time consuming and just so much a waste of my time like it just really didn't come out the way that i thought it was going to it just looked like something i've already done and i could have just avoided all that extra with the aluminum foil like i wasted my aluminum foil like i could have you know made a steak with that or something but, um with all of that hair teasing and all of that extra stuff, it actually really did come out the same. There wasn't anything different about it. I was kind of disappointed, but then again, I was just like, okay, whatever. I ended up bleaching this hair twice, and then I did tone it. I used Weller Toner T18, two T18s and a T35. And then I also used like my Daniel Marks toning shampoo and conditioner um, it still looks orange and brassy to me like i really didn't like the color so i went again and then i bleached it again this time i bleached it with um without aluminum foil you know i just put it on my mannequin head and i did it like normal so that's where i got like kind of like highlights you can't really see them on camera like that or maybe you can but i wanted it a little bit lighter yeah, but this is kind of like reddish strawberry blonde but it looks like a 27 in person and it's really pretty um, so I did that. And so it did come in three bundles, you know, an 18, a 16, and a 14 inch. And, and then when I bleached it, I did tone it like, you know, the next day with the same thing, two 18, two, um, three T18 well toners with a 20 developer. I did put some of a 30 developer in it because I wanted the roots to be a little bit lighter. So it's still soft. Um, I do feel it like I did cut the ends because they were like, you know, they weren't too bad. They weren't too bad because I've seen way worse, but it's still soft. But as far as West Kiss hair, so I think this is like the third or the fourth time for me doing a video with them. So now we're going to get into the finished product of this to see how it looks and how it turns build in. Yeah. Tinky, you got to look right here. Hi. Say, it's Tinky Man in the building. Tinky Man Bear. Say, what's up, ladies? Hi, No, you got to say, what's up, ladies? Hi, lady. Say, I'm a cute boy. Cute boy. I'm a good boy. Good boy. Say, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I said again, say, happy. Happy. Valentine's. Valentine's Day. Day. Ladies. Ladies. Now throw them a kiss. Throw them a kiss. No, oh, me too. Get them a kiss. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. oh. What about a kiss for the ladies? Yeah. Gotta go. Let him a kiss. Like this. Look it right there. Look right there. Look. Say I love you, ladies. You need me, but I want you. And you breathe me just like I'm your oxygen. Yeah, it's so easy. When it comes to you, caught up in these X's and these O's, like whoa, 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 whoa. See, I ain't got a hustle made of fire, down cause I'm a rider. And you know this, siren, move so independent, get it, then I spend it. Caught up in these X's and these O's Like whoa, 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 whoa See, I ain't got a hustle made of fire Down for Samurai And you know this I love it how you handle it. 
I like the way it's styled. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking like this was 16 inches. I'll definitely have to post the information of the bundle lengths below. I decided to do it straight, um, like just bone straight because I don't really wear a lot of my wigs like this. And uh, to be honest, I didn't feel like curling it. Making it straight it just is a lot less work, to be honest. Um, but I did intend for it to be a middle part because I was going to rock it as the middle part because I thought it would be cute. But I don't know. The mood that I was in today, I just felt like it would be just even cuter on the side. So I did put it on my left side because my left side is a lot more fuller than my right side. And so it, the wigs always look much better on my left side, so I think. So that's the reason why I put it on my left side. Um, I did want it a little bit lighter than this, but it did come out nice. You know, two bleachings and... And two sessions of toning and it still came out really nice it looks really natural it's very average length it's very natural density so that's one thing that is like a perk about it I did spray some um, olive oil on it which was a heat protectant while um, prior to flat ironing it because I already have put enough heat in it or not heat but chemicals in it so I didn't want it to get heat damage it's average it's something basic you can definitely you know spruce it up by putting a curling iron to it if you wanted to um, but for the most part I thought it looked really cute straight especially for the color I do have other units that are like this color some somewhat similar and they always have a curl into them so I figured I would just make something that was super straight and just sleek and this color so you guys um, I did tweeze a middle part in it so but this time I made the part like really thinner I don't really like the like them like as wide as I used to I know I get really picky like one minute I like something the next minute I don't one minute I like you the next minute I won't like you know what I'm saying it is what it is but you guys I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you check out West Kids Hair I'll post all of the information for them below if you have any questions you can definitely hit me up guys, make sure all the information will be posted for you guys below and um, I hope you guys have a great week stay deep and deep delicious make sure you share this video with everybody in the entire world all the people you know even the ones that you don't even like and I We'll see you guys in the soon to come video. I love you and have a great day.